all right so welcome back to the channel how to done right today i got a special video that was suggested by a scriber it's about wine savers like these what's one's the best we're gonna put these things to the test don't miss this video make sure you're clicking that like and subscribe button and let's get right into this Here they are. This is the ones we're going to put the test to. I wonder which one's going to win. Again, I'm sad because I got to get rid of some wine, but hopefully it doesn't spoil for a while. So what is a wine saver? What are these things used for? Well, after you open a bottle of wine and you take the cork out and you want to keep it in the refrigerator, this is what you use to help preserve your wine. Normally, it'll last in the refrigerator three to five days, but we're going to see it and test and see if these things will work and make the wine last longer. And a lot of times, once this cork comes out, I'll just sit to put the cork right back in there. It's enough to make it last for another two days, right? I got links to all these in the description, but first, let's test them out and let's put these to use in our wine and i hate to say it this video is gonna kill me to make it because why i gotta let these wines spoil and go bad in the refrigerator but it's for the channel so i usually don't have this problem that i need to store my wine these are what i use i just put these things in and they will make my wine last for a day or so. That's all I need usually. But I know a lot of people want to store it for longer. And let's see which one wins. Is it these little cheap models that I use? Are they going to outlast some of the more expensive ones like this one? This one uses a vacuum. And while we're talking about wine and open our wine, let's, let's go over these things. I love these things. Because if you get a wine that's not racked properly or you should have did an extra racking, these little things have filters in them. And like I said, here's a close-up. I, I Hopefully it's in focus, but I'll take a picture of them. But you can see this fine mesh filter. It will get a lot of that sediment if you have it in your bottles. Uh, it's, they just work perfect and they don't leak. These things, I love them because they don't leak and it's got the little cap on the top so you can seal up your bottle. Get some of these too, link down below. All right, let's go over our contestants, starting with these cheap ones. These things are like four or five bucks. You get four of them on Amazon, but this is what I use, and they're silicone, and they do a great job. Okay, let's go over contestant number two. It's a vacuum mini storage thing. These things you can get for eight to nine dollars this one's made by sun one and we're gonna put it to the test too it's just a smaller version of the last one all right and contestant number three this is the most expensive one this one goes for about 22 dollars on amazon it's made by vacuvin and it's a wine saver that has uh stoppers included and a where you pump them out and you get a, a vacuum going and you get the oxygen out of the bottle. So now that we've met the contestants, you can see I got them all unboxed here. Now, one of the caveats, the one in the middle, this one here will not work for screw caps uh, just because of how it goes around and it seals your bottle. Uh, but the other ones didn't have that disclaimer. So just a, a, a quick thing, if you're going to have screw top bottles, sometimes I have them because I'm reusing bottles. That one you may want to watch out for. And I hope it doesn't spoil for a while because I don't want my wine to go bad. I don't want to waste it. All right, so here we are. We're gonna, we got our banana wine out. We're going to separate this and then we're going to break it down. We're going to put our caps in there and we're going to taste this. We're going to... Get this divided in 48 hours. We'll be tasting each one. We got we got our little taster cups here, and then we got our little cleansing. In this case, we're using mozzarella cheese. 
we'll get into a whole nother video on how to cleanse your palate. But let's get started and get this divided up. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Now, I don't know if you know this, we're gonna have to taste this when it goes bad because that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> there we go. We got the bottles filled up to exact. All right, now we're gonna pour samples for us uh, for each batch, a little for her, a little for me. And we're gonna go down each one of these just to make sure they're consistent. That's what I just wanna start with, to make sure we got the right consistency because these are both banana wines and they're both semi-sweet. Wow. Right now they're consistent. Mm -hmm. And a week from now, I'm not so sure. Okay, we got the cheap ones over there. She's gonna handle the cheap ones. And go ahead and put one of those caps. This is the middle of the road, and we're gonna put this one on here. And what the instruction says, you put it down and you pump it three to five times. I'll do five. And that should give us a good seal. Now let's go for one for good luck. And then this one, we're gonna put this cap in here and it seals. And then this one, it says you pump it until it clicks to get that out of there. Pouring the bubbles up, do you see that? Oh, oh it clicked. I just heard it click. So that's it. Now we're gonna get these in the refrigerator and we're gonna come back in 48 hours and taste these. And then we're gonna do it every 24 hours after that until we can't stand it anymore. Like I said, this is the one we use because we don't keep it around more than a day. <laughs> All right, it's been 48 hours, gonna pour our samples here. All right, let's start with, this is the one that's got the silicone topless. So let's start with that one and see if we notice any difference. I think it's still good. It's still good. Now we're trying this one. I don't know, this one is a little better than that one. I think so too. So this one might be to the point, remember there was no vacuum, that's kind of just like putting the cork in. Which one's this one? This is the one with the little pump on it. And that one's still pretty good too. Mm -hmm. So we may be losing something on this one after 48 hours. I think we both think it might be, yeah, this it's definitely... almost like it's fizzy, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, check back in 48. 24. All right, here we go. We're getting ready to pour the samples. We're on day three. One thing I did want to show you about this one, this little knob up here, which I think is really cool, will release the pressure. I don't know if you heard that, but now it's safe to uh, remove it. So that's another cool feature. It was a little bit much. <laughs> And look here, we got some cheddar cheese today. All right, and if you remember, this one as of yesterday was almost done. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna taste funny. I'm hoping these are still gonna taste good. So let's go right into it and see if this is done. That's not too bad, Dad. Yeah, it's, it's good. All right, we'll try it. We'll taste it against these other ones. All right, cheese. That's the second one. Can you tell any difference? Yeah, that one still is, it's not as fizzy. I gotta get the fizziness on that one. I don't get any fizziness, but you can definitely tell the crispness. We're eating a lot of cheese on this video, I tell you that. We should do a cheese wine. These are still, I think, pretty much the same. These two, yeah. This one's still, we'll go another 24 hours. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's get the caps back on and back in the refrigerator. How many times should I do this one? So it clicks, right, hon? This is hard. All right, it's day four. We fast forward this a little bit. We're gonna give you our critique here. But this one, I don't know. I still think we might be able to go one more day after day four. We're gonna see. This one I feel like maybe a, starting to turn a little bit. But this one still tastes like the day we opened it. I don't know. This one could go on for weeks. Yeah, Are you I ready agree. for that? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> she had to change because she was in her pajamas. So if this goes for weeks, we're in trouble. All right, here we are, day five. I can't believe this one's still here. I don't know if it's going to make it past today, but let's give it a try. 
This is the one with the silicon top, the green one. Starting to get a, oh yeah. A little sour. Way sour. That's it. I'm calling it on this one. This was about, this was the start of day five. So this one lasted about three to four days. And I, that's kind of what I expected. Let's get that one out of the way. Remember both of these, this one and this one with the pump is taking the oxygen out. So these may go a little while yet. It's pretty good yet. Maybe it's starting to go. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one tastes just the it's, same the day we yeah. we uh, opened that. It still it tastes, tastes completely like that. different than those two. Yeah, this one might go another day. This one might go a long time yet. So we'll check back tomorrow. I was going to go another 48 hours to two days, but let's go one more 24 yeah. hours and see what happens. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. All right, it's day seven. One week. We already eliminated the one with the silicone top. We've got this one here yet left. And then we've got these little here where you pump them. So I'm going to taste them. Let's, I already got them poured here. This is the first one. Let's give it a shot. All right. It's borderline. I think we got another day or so out of that one. But, and you know how I can tell this one's starting to get a little fizzy and has an aftertaste where this one left the banana taste in. So let's try the banana on this one. That one is still, there's no fizziness at the end. So I know this one's winning the contest. I don't know how much longer this one's gonna like. This one may go for weeks. Stay tuned. All right, we are on day eight. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe it's been over a week. This one, if you remember last night, was a little iffy. I don't know if that's gonna make it past today. So let's give them a shot. Go ahead and pour them up, our samples. Wow, did you hear that? All right, let's start with this one first. Yeah, that's definitely got a little aftertaste yet. So I think that one, it made it a week. Remember the, the uh, silicone ones, three to four days. So I think that's pretty good a week. I can't wait to see where this one goes. All right, let's see if there's any difference. Remember, it still tasted like the day we opened it. Yeah. And it still does. I can tell by that aftertaste. Mm -hmm. It doesn't yeah. have that fizzy. Yeah. All right, that one's done. Yep. This one, we're going to keep going. All right, we are on day 10 of this. This one, the little pump one. Let's see if there's any difference yet. We might finish the bottle before. <laughs> it still tastes pretty good. It's pretty good, but I can kind of... You can tell it's different, get but it's still pretty good. Taste. We're going to give it another two days, and we'll check back. But it's still <laughs> delicious, I can tell you that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, here we are. We're now at number 12, day 12. Let's see what it's going to be. Are we going to make the two-week point on this wine? I don't know about two weeks. That'd be pretty cool, though. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, that's, that's it. Day 12, we got out of this one. So I'm going to do a wrap up here and tell you what we did and which one wins. Yeah. So there you have it. We just completed our test of wine savers. We had this one with the pump action. And then we had this one with the little lid that you pump out to get the oxygen out. We started with these. Remember, these are the silicone ones. Now, if you remember, we got about three to four days out of these. So that's not bad. If you're going to drink it quick, these work just fine. Then we had the pump action one. And this one lasted seven to eight days. So think of about a week for this. But then you get to this model here, which I have been thoroughly impressed. And one thing I like about this one you get four of these that come with it along with the pump. Now, we got 12 days out of this, but imagine if this wine was up to here. I guarantee you we could have got another couple days out of it, but you know, we were drinking it and it kept going down. So we had a lot of more oxygen to deal with getting out. But again, thoroughly impressed with this one. You get four of these. And I think it was like 20 some bucks. So not bad. This is the one I'll be using from now on. But, and, and another thing with this one that I didn't like, when you put this on and it's in your refrigerator, you need some height on top of the bottle. 
So when this is on here, they, you need all that. And I had to raise a shelf to get the, this one to fit under where, you know, these kind of like fit right in. I mean, you know, it's pretty low profile there, right? And these are about similar. You know, you put one of them in, you know, there's not much there that sticks out. But these, I love. This is what I'll be using. Unless I know I'm going to drink it the next day or something. I'll just use these. But love them. Again, I have links to all this stuff in the description. This is my favorite. This is the winner. 12 days we got out of that. Imagine that. Till next time, I hope you liked this video. Click that like and subscribe. And if you have other ideas you want me to test, just let me know in the comment section. If I